Welcome everybody to the Hardcore Pub. I'm rocking this old school Coors beer, Coors Banquet beer shirt. Not reviewing a Coors though. But I was in a beer store a while ago and I saw an old school throwback that I hadn't had in psh, a long, long time. So, let me rip open the refrigerator door here see what it is. Oh, it's a tall boy. This is Heilman's Pure Genuine Old Style Classic Lager. I know, I know, we're in the fall season. I should be doing darker beers, but you know what? This isn't going to last as long as my darker beers, so I can push them back a little bit. It's okay. Old World meth Methods. Choicest Hops. Sparkling Pure Spring Water. Established in 1902. And that's probably the last time I tasted this beer. I'm an old man. So, my non-decorated glass. This is old style. I didn't have decorations in the old style, so I gotta... It sounds just as good as the new styles. Yeah, I was talking about like old beers that I don't see anymore. And please, if you guys watching have seen these beers around, let me know. There was a beer called Red, White, and Blue. Um, I know Black Label. That was another one we used to drink when we were we we little lads. Uh, of course, I think back then, I don't know if it was owned by Carling or not. I think that's who owns it now. But the cans are different. The cans are like red. Back in the old days, it was a white can, black label. It was pretty uh, cheap and it was a basic beer. Um, uh, Olympia. It's the water. I used to love to drink some Olympia. Haven't seen that in a long time either. But this thing, just what I was expecting. It's snow white head. It's got carbonation in it, but it's, it's you know... And not an impressive amount. But this is the old old style tradition. It's pure and genuine. It's got an interesting label. I mean, it's kind of basic. It's just like drawings of the old times, I guess. It's not colored in or anything. So, not only does impressive can art suck me in, so does basic can art. And this kind of has, there's a lot going on on that label, but it's kind of basic. It sucked me in. And I said, old style. It's worth a revisit. I've never reviewed it. I have tasted it in decades ago. So let's see what it tastes like now in 2021. Cheers. It says there's hops in there. If, see, in my mind, I'm thinking in the hops that are like in IPAs. Those are very super flavorful hops. Uh, they're very prominent. This says choicest hops. But I don't know what kind of flavor these hops are supposed to put in the beer because there's no bitterness. So it's not getting any bitterness from the hops. I know hops give off, depending on which hop they use, there's different flavors. You can get pine, you can get orange, you can get mango, you can get who knows whatever else. But I'm not getting any of that off of this. This, this just tastes like, uh, a beer. I mean, uh, it doesn't say it's a light beer, however... That's kind of the flavor I'm getting off of it. There's nothing robust about the flavor of this beer. It's just a beer-flavored beer. Um, it has its place. It has, sometimes that's all you want is a beer-flavored beer. Uh, if you want beers that taste like other things, there are plenty of those out there too. Trust me. Um, what gets me, well, what I like is, um, I like flavor. Um, this beer has flavor. It's not, it's not anything to write home about. 
it's a flavor, but it's not, you know, it's not anything spectacular. I'm not drinking this saying, oh, why haven't I had this, you know, before now? No, I'm not getting that. This is just, uh, it almost tastes just like a standard macro produced light beer to me. On a hot summer day, it sure would do the trick. I wouldn't rush out and buy it again. Um, but for what it is, for what it is, it's old style. And, you know, um, it's decent enough. It's decent enough where I would give it a thumbs up. I would. And this would be a beer to try, you know. Uh, like I say, I know, I know there are some people in this world, it doesn't matter what you're talking about, they are brand loyalists. You got your hardcore Chevrolet guys, you got your hardcore Ford guys, you got your hardcore Budweiser guys, you got your hardcore, you know, Coors guys. I get it. But, you gotta admit, even if you are a hardcore guy, if you... Harley, Di the Harley Davidson, that, that's the only motorcycle for you. Well, you've got to admit, there are other brands of motorcycles out there that you think are pretty cool, but for some reason, Harley Davidson's what you got tattooed on your arm, and that's what you're going to live, live and breathe is Harley Davidson. I get it. But, we're talking about beer, okay? Nobody's going to run out and say, Ooh, I, I saw Timmy. He was in the bar the other night, and he wasn't drinking Bud Light. He, he, he was drinking an old style. No, nobody's going to do that. We're all grown-ups. Well, sometimes I'm acting like a grown-up, sometimes not. But you know what? Try it. Try it. Bear for breakfast, facts for snacks. It's all, the, all the time. Try something different. Hey, it's okay if you spent your life up to this point drinking one particular beer. It doesn't mean it's the best beer, but you'll never know if you don't try any of the other ones. So, do yourself a favor. You don't have to rush out and buy a case of something new and then decide you don't like it. Buy a single. Buy a six-pack. Give something else a try. When you're at the party and you see your, your flavor of beer in the cooler, but you see something else, hey, grab something else just wants to give it a try. It ain't gonna kill you. And I promise, you just might surprise yourself. So thanks for stopping by. The new me, drinking the old style. I'm glad you stopped by, and I hope next time you'll bring a friend, because everybody's welcome here at the Hardcore Pub. Till then. Hmm. Now see, this is a beer. This beer is not a sipper. This is a beer. You just want to guzzle it and get it in you. What did I say? What is the alcohol? I think I missed that. I went to sign off prematurely. I didn't say what the ABV was on here. And guess what? It's a mystery. They do not have it on here. I do not like that. I can tell you this is not a high ABV beer, but the alcohol content in a beer should be basic information, required information on beer label. Any alcoholic beverage, you should know what you're getting into before you drink it. My opinion, take it for what it's worth, and I'll see you next time. Not good, not bad, but it's worth buying.